throughout this NBA season of uncertainty, there was one thing that was certain. The Bulls' reign was over. Therefore, the focus of the league's stars became crystal clear. Earn the crown that has eluded them. But as the playoffs progressed, most were left to reflect on another missed opportunity. Still, one long-denied star managed to shine. A celebrated admiral is moments away from leading the San Antonio Spurs into battle. It's the first trip to the NBA Finals for David Robinson. Will the special forces that surround the admiral continue to dominate their opponents? Ten consecutive postseason wins makes them the prohibitive favorite and moves Robinson that much closer to the championship he covets. Uncertainty defined the New York Knicks regular season. But turmoil and lackluster results have given way to spectacular playoff achievement and team harmony. When this unconventional collection of stars lost their leader, they never lost heart. Instead, it inspired them to last-second heroics and peak performances that have the skeptics asking and fans begging, can the eighth seed do it again? The window of opportunity is now, but who will persevere through the uncertainty and pressure of a championship? This much is certain. Game one of the NBA Finals is next. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1999 NBA Finals. The Alamo Dome in San Antonio is approaching a madhouse. Nearly 40,000 on hand to watch their Spurs, the NBA's best team over the course of the season, take on one of the league's biggest surprises in many seasons, the New York Knicks, with the NBA championship at stake. Hello, everybody. With Doug Collins, I'm Bob Costas. Welcome to Game 1 at the Alamo Dome. First item of business, Larry Johnson, listed as questionable with the sprained right knee, will not only play tonight for the New York Knicks, he will start Game 1. Jim Gray will have details on that in just a few moments. But even with Larry Johnson in the lineup, the Knicks are overwhelming underdogs. How do they make this thing competitive, or to take it a step beyond that, pull off what ultimately would be the biggest upset in the history of the NBA Finals? Bob, first of all, they must continue to play great defense. Their opponent's shooting under 40% in the playoffs. Then they must get great play from Latrell Sprewell and Allen Houston. These guys have been terrific. The slashing, the speed, and the quickness of Sprewell. The sweet shooting of Allen Houston in the low post with a little fadeaway, and the aggression going to the basket and drawing the three-point play. These two